Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be taking a look at Quake 2, which just added an official ray tracing support. You can actually download the shareware demo for this completely free. Uh, over on Steam you could download it, or you can download it directly from the NVIDIA website. If you want to just have the standalone copy with the executable, then you can go ahead and do that as well. I will leave links to both of them down in the description below if you do want to check them out. But just very briefly, I want to take a look at the performance on this. I already did crack it open and kind of take a look, and it is laughably bad, to the point where I don't know why NVIDIA would ever slap their name on an official release of this or put it in any of their marketing material because it is horrendous. So before we jump into the game real quick and take a look at the frame rate, you can see right now I am running on the RTX mode. You can of course switch to the old school mode of OpenGL if you want to, but you won't have any, any RTX features. I am running at 4K 120 Hertz with VSync turned off. Uh, field of view is set to 90. Let's see other interesting options in here. Multi-GPU support is set to when available, but I'm right now I'm running on a single RTX 2080 Ti, which is overclocked. I'm also running an i9-9900K with 32 gigabytes of RAM, so you pretty much cannot build a faster gaming PC right now to try this game out on. Denoiser is running, which helps with ray tracing to help keep the image clear and crisp. We've also got textures on, yes. Global illumination is on high. God rays, bloom, caustics are all on and we've got the high quality pause mode on as well and yeah it's basically uh basically we're running on the highest possible settings that you can run using the ray trace feature so let's go ahead and jump into the game and see how it's running on nvidia's flagship 1200 graphics card with a flagship 2000 dollars monitor in 4k on a game that is 22 years old and as you can see, it is absolutely fucking abysmal. 19 frames per second. <laughs> you serious? So this really leads me to the question as to why is NVIDIA marketing this? Like, why would you want people to have the taste in their mouth? The RTX already has a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths because of the cost and the bad performance and the er the poor early adoption rates of ray tracing effects into video games. And now you got this game coming out, or <laughs> coming out, a 22-year-old demo being re-released with real-time ray tracing, and it runs like a bag of wet piss. It is awful. It's it is incalculably be in, blah, blah, incalculable, incalculably. There, I think that's a word. Incalculably bad. It's 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 pretty bad. Um, there's too many bees there for me to really get them all out at once. But you understand what I'm trying to say. It's pretty fucking shit. And the fact that they're that they're marketing this is just not a good move on their part, in my personal opinion, because it does not run well. Nobody's going to be able to run this at a reasonable frame rate at a high resolution like you should be able to. I mean. And I'm running this, I mean, I understand it's using ray tracing, but on a basis of comparison with something like, let's say, Battlefield V, Metro Exodus, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the other three main games that we know about that support ray tracing right now, those games all run infinitely better than this at 4K with the most modern ray tracing effects all ramped up. Those games all run significantly better than what this is running at, what feels like a locked 19 frames per second with the GPU completely pinned at 99% utilization. This is the best NVIDIA can do on a 22-year-old game for optimization. Like, the game's been out 22 years. 22 years. That is less than one frame per second for years of development that this game has existed. Less than one frame per second per year. So, by that math, if we continue along at this pace, by the year 2060... I might be able to play this game at 4K and get 60 frames per second. It's a possibility. I wouldn't count on it, but it's possible. <laughs> okay, so that's 4K. Let's drop it down to 1440p. Um, I mean, let's see if we can possibly get this to any sort of playable frame rate. I don't really think we can, but we'll, we'll try here. I mean, it probably will run at 1080p, I would guess. But it won't even actually it won't even let me drop it down the resolution. Oh, there we go. I have to go the other way. It doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so 1440p. Let's go ahead and drop that down. All right, 1440p. Uh, now we're getting 44 frames per second. So that's at least playable-ish. Like it's still not 60 frames per second, which would 
be ideal, but at least it's like somewhat playable. It's nominal at best, but it's not very good. Still, still running under 60 frames per second on a $1,200 graphics card and on a system that costs like $3,000 plus. And that's not even counting all the different storage and stuff I have, which doesn't really count for game performance. But hey, it still counts for what the system actually costs. And it can't run this game at 60 frames per second on a mid-tier resolution like 1440p. So yeah, like I said, this was just going to be a quick video. I just, I, I, I just want to get your guys' feedback on this. I want to see what your opinions are on NVIDIA releasing this demo with ray tracing. I mean, I guess it looks kind of cool, like when the ray tracing is working, but the game is old as shit. And I recognize that this was a really great game for its time, but it looks ass by today's standards. And nobody's going to be playing this just to use ray tracing. I can't imagine why anyone would want to. It doesn't even run well. Like, let alone if you're using something like an RTX 2060, forget about it. Just forget about it. Like, it's just, there's no way. And you get to play at 1080p, you're going to have to play at lowered settings on a game that is just, it's like, if if you had a kid when this game came out, when this game came out, you could now legally have a drink with your child. You could legally walk into a bar, have a shot of whiskey with your child, and this game would still be running at 19 frames per second. Okay. That's how bad it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, and I'm not going to play this. Certainly not, because it's fucking bad. I mean, the game's, the game's not bad. The technology is bad. The implementation is god-awful. Runs, like runs like a bag of dog shit in hot summer heat. So, yeah. Let me know if you're going to download the demo and what your experience was with it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video want to see more like it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Terra.